Hi, my name is Peter, and in this video, we are going to learn how to play samba, in particular, the batticada. The batticada is a style of samba and is used to describe a gathering of people playing on percussion only. Samba is in 2 4 time, which means there are two beats that we count per bar. Let's remind ourselves what the instruments we have made are called and learn to play the rhythms using them. First we have the surdo, which is the heart of the batticada. It is the biggest drum with the lowest pitch, like a bass drum, and plays on the second beat, which is the strongest beat in samba. On the surdo, we are going to play on beat two only, which means if we count one, two, on one, we are silent, which is called rested music, and on beat two, we hit the drum, like this. The kaisha is like the snare drum in samba. They are commonly used to add accents which are louder notes. For this, we're going to play semi quavers using two sticks. The really important bit about this is to play the accents on the first and fourth semi quaver. This gives the rhythm its fill and swing. The ganza is the shaker in samba and it is used to fill the sound by providing the high tones. It is very common for there to be two or three shakers that are welded together to produce a bigger sound. Similar to the kaisha, we are also going to be playing 16th notes with accents on the 1 and 4. To make this a little easier, you can bring your arm down slightly for the notes that aren't accented.
The tambourine is a small single headed drum, usually about six inches, which makes it the highest sounding drum in samba. It is held in the left hand and played with a thin and flexible stick. The tambourine provides accents and rhythmic support. For this, we're going to be playing hits on the off beats. So if we count one, two, now we're going to count and in between each one. One, and, two, and. And every time we say and, we're going to hit the tambourine. The agogo bells are usually two bells, although there can be as many as four which are joined together by a metal rod. The bells are tuned in intervals of thirds, for example, notes one and three in a scale. They are held in the left hand and played with a thin wooden stick in the right hand. This is a difficult one, as the rhythms are more complex, so don't worry if you don't get it straight away, just give it your best shot. Now we are going to learn some variations and different rhythms. For the surdo, instead of a rest on beats one, we are now going to put our hand on the top of the drum. If this was a surdo, this would mute the drum, which is stopping the sound. For the kaisha, we are going to add accents, and it's now going to be a two-bar phrase.
For the Agogo Bells, we are learning the Brazilian rhythm, Partito Alto. To finish our performance, there will be four bars that count down on the screen and we'll all hit the downbeat of the next bar together. For example, like this. Now it is time for you to choose your favourite instrument as we are going to play to the backing track. We are also going to play the variations so make sure to keep an eye on the screen. That's all we have time for today. Now you know the basic rhythms of samba. You can use these rhythms to play along to most samba tracks, like this one. <laughs> 